I'm responsible for industrial services worldwide for DF and PD products. And in this role, I'm responsible for 10,000 people worldwide, and we have facilities in more than 50 countries. So a lot of our customers are heavily affected by these downturns. And this puts a lot of pressure also on service uh, which we give to them because we need to make sure uptime of the equipment, we need to increase their efficiency. So what we actually can do, we can help our customers in these difficult times. Nobody, I think, can predict what will happen. We had our ups and downs in the past as well, and we are now in the down circle, but I'm quite sure that based on the resources uh, which we need still for our development, the times will get better again, but uh, let's say service plays a role even in down times and in up times. So we need to be prepared and we need to do our best uh, each and every day. I think we are still in the phase of, of a new area of industrial services as well. We have been coming from this traditional field service, repair services, uh, retrofit modernization upgrades. In the future, more and more services will be based on data. Mass data which we collect from products and systems and plans of our customers, we then analyze. We then, let's say, either give it to our customers for predictive maintenance or we do it for them and help them to keep their equipment on a much higher efficiency level. Actually, MindSphere is one of our platforms which we are now developing in the range of, of cloud-based services. So in the future, as I said, data will be much more important for us. And based on data, you need to collect the data, you need to store the data. And beside the conventional technology, having them on servers or laptops, we are getting more and more accustomed in this world to store them in the cloud, in secure clouds with clear data privacy for our customers, where we can then store the data for our customers, help them to analyze it, and also keep those data secure. In Perth, we have a combination of various technologies which we don't have each and everywhere in the world. We have a combination of heating ovens, mechanical machinery, and test bed cap capabilities. And with its unique offering, we can really do more or less everything the customer needs for us in the local market, but also for other markets. I think it's not the wrong time. Service is always a market where you have to think in a, in a duration of 20, 25, 30 years, because our customers' equipments run that long. So when we made the investment decision, uh, we had clearly in mind that we don't run it in a five or five, uh, five years operations, but we will run it for the next 25, 30, 40 years. And in this long-term investment, even in that difficult economic, economic environment as of today, we need to make sure that our customers get the best services we can offer to them on a sustainable basis. So I think it's still the right investment, helping our customers to cre increase efficiency over the life cycle. We have specific offerings which we tailor make to our customers' requirements. One example is the motor management program. In the motor management program, we take care on our customers' motors installed base. For example, in one of our refineries in Turkey of our customers, we were able with 1,500 motors to reduce the downtime by 83%. And that's a significant achievement. The first challenge is now to incorporate the data collection into our equipment. So we try to integrate the data collection into our equipment then we will have this data collected into clouds where we store those data for our customers and where we then will be able, let's say, to interpret these data for our customers and help them to improve their operations.